All right, we're back. Uh, we were talking about the. Uh, the <laughs> Jesus. Hey, MJ. I think I just murdered somebody. Oh, uh, again. You first murdered Mysterio. Speaking of which, we were talking about the whole like rights issues or whatever of Spider-Man. Stop killing people. <laughs> now you're leaving the scene of the crime. Where did that guy come from? <laughs> what? Yeah, there's a guy webbed to the side of the building. Oh shit. Did I do that or was that you? I think you did that maybe. I I'm so confused. <laughs> He's helping the wall. Oh god, I'm stuck. There you go. <laughs> I heard oh god, I'm suck. I'm like, don't quote these guys. <laughs> See, now I've completely lost my train of thought. Just oh, we're talking about illegal issues? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Alright, if you die, I'll take over. Um, yeah, we're talking about how, like, the the Sony Marvel stuff is kind of supposed to be, like, adjacent to the, the MCU stuff or whatever. But, um... You know, I'm kind of okay with that. Because, like... As much as Venom was just kind of like okay, so were a lot of the the early like MCU yeah. stuff. Like, honestly, the Incredible Hulk is not really that good. You know what? This motherfucker right here. Uh, let's see. Iron Man Two's just okay, probably. Even the first Thor, I don't think is really that great of a movie. To me, the first like really good MCU movie is uh, Captain America. Oh, first yeah. Avenger. Oh, shit. Were you riding the dumpster? <laughs> no, I actually pulled it into myself. Oh, because I, I was, like, rubbing my eyes, so it was all distorted. I'm like, is he riding the dumpster like a fucking Zamboni? I, I flashed back to Deadpool. <laughs> Tell me where your boss is, or you're going to die in five minutes. <laughs> but as you were saying, Sam Raimi. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because there were people that were actually last, in 2019, hopefully last year when this airs, uh, there were people who were like, when the whole like rights fiasco, the, the battle between Sony and Marvel was going on, there were actually people, and if you share this opinion, I'm sorry, I usually say everyone's entitled to their opinion, but in this case, I just feel like they're wrong. People were like, oh, they should just give full control to, to Sony, they've earned it. I'm like... No, they fucking have not. Okay. Is the bag wet? Yes. Oh my god, that is cool attention to detail. Um. Oh, I think this is Silver Sable, by the way, which I'll get to her in a minute. Solid eight out of ten. Is it her? Would she say something so the subtitles can say it's her? Oh, fine. God. Yuri, explanation, please. This is Silver Sablanova. Yeah, okay. International. Okay. Um, but yeah. Yeah. The reason why the the Raimi trilogy did so well, for the most part, and again, I'll get to that in a minute, was because for the first two movies, they pretty much let Sam Raimi do whatever he wanted, and he got to make, like, the exact Spider-Man movies he wanted. And people love them. People love the first two Spider-Man movies. Oh, yeah. The third one kind of went to shit because... Kind of? Okay, really went to shit. <laughs> really? Went to... <laughs> it went to shit because Sony stuck their nose in and told Raimi, you have to put Venom in because we want to sell toys. Sam Raimi does not and has never liked Venom. As a character. Really? He did not want Venom. I think he just wanted Harry and then Sandman or something. Oh, yeah. And so they forced him to put in Venom. There were too many villains. The tone was all over the place. My dad has actually theorized that Sam Raimi purposely sabotaged Spider-Man 3. Like, he purposely made it bad because he was so pissed off at Sony. You know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I believe I that. I because it's just like it feels so off compared to the 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 first two. I'm even wondering if they hadn't forced him to put in Venom, would he have included the whole symbiote thing? Would he have even had the black suit? Yeah. Because honestly, that's like a major part of the film. 
And I don't think the film would even be mediocre without it. Because even if you don't have Venom, you could just, like, have him do the black suit and then, you know, he gets rid of it at the end and, you know, we set up for a sequel with Venom. Yeah, exactly. No. But, okay, so there you have two really good movies and then one shitty one where Sony took more control. And then you have the amazing Spider-Man duology, which was supposed to be a trilogy slash cinematic universe of its own. Which was completely... It was supposed to be a cinematic universe? Yeah, they were going to make... They, that's when they were going to do a Venom movie as part of it. They were going to do a Sinister Six movie with just the Sinister Six, no Spider-Man. Yeah. They were going to make their own Spider-Man cinematic universe. Wow. Based around the amazing Spider-Man. So... Those were completely in the hands of Sony, and look what happened. They were terrible. Yeah, I mean, there are things I like in them, but for the most part, they're really not good. I even consider a couple times selling the movies that I have, even though I bought them because I really liked them at the time, but now that we have... Because I thought they were going to continue on with this continuity, so I'm like, okay, I guess this is the one now. But then, you know, the whole leak happened, and then... uh, Marvel stepped in, and we got Tom Holland, and really, at this point, there should be no looking back. No. I mean, we got probably the best version of Spider-Man. I think he is the best version. And he gets to interact with the MCU, which I think is crazy that people would complain about. That, oh, he has to show up in here, and this and that, and in the MCU, I'm like... Why Why should he go back to being all by himself? But look how much people loved him when he was in Infinity War and how they cried when they thought he was dead. Yeah, it's just like, you people all cry. I know some people are like, you people. Uh, you know, y'all cried when he died. That was the most emotional part. And then you fucking complained that, like, oh, Sony, get the movies and he shouldn't be in the MCU anymore. Like, fuck you. The... <coughs> they left it at a point Here's where there was going to be more. I don't care what they said. That Like, oh, we're, we don't have any plans for him right now. Well, before they worked out the deal. Which shows that clearly they were lying and they did have ideas. Because, I mean, going forward, you can't really not have Spider-Man. Especially when they're, the heroes are in like short supply right now. Yeah, because now... Established ones, anyway. Because, I mean, Cap is old and he's possibly dead. Tony's gone. Now he has Spider-Man who's going to be the next Tony Stark and starting a new generation of heroes. Yeah, well, except he'll need a lawyer. (laughs) We'll get to that. Yeah, well, we can't say anything because we don't know what's going to be going on when this episode actually airs. Because it's probably going to be a little while. Ugh, my throat got dry from all that yakking. I don't even know what's going on. I was so busy talking. I need to vent my anger into Lee's office. Oh, right, because he's evil. (laughs) Here, how did you do that? Ah, shit. Huh. Never seen that room before. Um, hello, Mr. Lee's sex dungeon. Well, hello. Is that you, Lee? Put some clothes on. <laughs> I was not expecting that. <laughs> really? That's kind of obvious. Ow, ow, I just twisted my ankle. Ow. You twisted your ankle from laughing? Yeah, because you got me twitching my leg and then I just pulled oh. my ankle out. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. Oh, <laughs> worth it. What the? God, what is it, Light? What needs this much power? I understand. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Lee, Mr. Lee, are you hacking off at a picture of me, Mr. Lee? With a vibrator up your ass? No. <laughs> Lee's journal. Dear diary, I stuck a vibrator up my ass when Peter walked by. <coughs> <coughs> Damn it. My throat got really dry from all that talking. Yeah. 
<sighs> Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. That room I saw from the crawl space. The shrine in the floor. Should be right on the other side. <laughs> How is he doing this? <laughs> <laughs> what is Peter fucking Gollum or something? No idea. <laughs> He's yeah. our friend. You don't have any friends. <laughs> ah. So well. Can I take a picture of this? Nope. Oh, man. You're not married. That doesn't really look that much like him. Because I know that's a picture of, like, real people, obviously. Okay, why is that still highlighted? Maybe you didn't look at everything? Look down? Oh, that's why. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. And a big eyeball. That seems right. Yes. Wow, first time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. He's Keanu Reeves. I knew it. What the hell was that? I'm putting on my menacing Clint Eastwood voice. He's giving his powers to the others. How does Lee imbue these with his power? Uh, his like vibrator, a apparently. <laughs> He sure is obsessed with masks. That's also the face he makes when he uses his vibrator. Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? He pretended to be a demon until he became one. Creepy. Can feel my power growing. <laughs> Mother would always say, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. And that's why she's dead. <laughs> oh shit, that took a dark turn. <laughs> well, I mean, look at how dark the picture is. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. The city has a rash! what Lee's planning next. Did you just drop it on the floor? Yep. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. I think you're supposed to take a picture of... Or, you know, just sw swing around. It says hold L2 to aim. But aim at one oh, that. I thought he said, I'm more. <laughs> like, no, you're Peter. The police had found this. Oh. Hey, oh. I think of what could have happened. <laughs> MJ, we should do this together. It feels amazing. Yeah, don't let Mr. Lee fucking see you doing that. Otherwise, he'll floor explode. Grace. Yeah, he would. Now, how do I get out of here? And we'll find out on the next one. What the fuck? 